Meanwhile, NBC Universal has officially entered the streaming wars. The company's much hyped streaming platform, Peacock, launching for some customers today, but that doesn't mean everyone can start binging old episodes of Law and Order just yet. Cheddar's Michelle Castillo is here with the details. Uh, Michelle, it's good to see you. Break down uh, this story for us. Who can actually download and watch the streaming platform today? So Peacock is launching, but it's only for Comcast and Xfinity um, subscribers right now. And that was always the original plan. So Peacock was always supposed to launch to everyone on July 15th. But they wanted to do a soft launch for um, for Comcast customers, and that's what they're doing today. So right now, if you are a um, Xfinity uh, customer or a Flex customer, you can see a sampling of the content you will get. Most of it is the library of content. You don't get The Office yet. That's still on Netflix till uh, the end of the year. But you will get Law & Order SVU, and there are some new shows, especially in the kids' programming section. One of them is called Cleopatra in Space, and I'm fascinated if I figure out what that is about. <laughs> uh, quite a title there. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Well, we know companies like Netflix have yet to become cash flow positive despite increased viewership. And so will Peacock face the same sort of money issues that Netflix has been faced with? Well, you know what? Peacock is a really interesting entrant into the streaming wars. Um, they are ad supported. So although it, it's free right now to a lot of customers and it will remain free um, if you are willing to watch ads, if you are not a Comcast subscriber, you can eventually in July pay $5 a month to have the ad supported version and $10 a month if you don't want ads and you want the full premium experience. So I think they won't have the same money issues because they have that additional revenue stream on top of subscriptions. They've got, they announced some more um, new advertisers this week, including L'Oreal, Molson Coors. That's in addition to other advertisers they originally had at launch. So they already have that revenue stream on day one, something that other services don't have. Mm -hmm. And what challenges will Peacock face launching during the pandemic? Well, I mean, it's a really tough time because people are watching their budgets. I think we see that across the board. But the one thing about Peacock is that it is um, ad supported and it will be free for on this ad um, on this um, ad supported model. So people will be willing to try that out. The other thing is they were really counting on the Olympics to help launch Peacock into the American zeitgeist. And unfortunately, because the Olympics are uh, suspended through 2021, they won't have that big event, that big marquee thing that people were hoping for. They're really going to have to um, hope that their library of content is good enough. Now, as it seems, I spoke a little bit to the uh, company and they said that they still plan on that July launch. But again, it is hard not to have that marquee event to tie something like um, your new service to. Mm -hmm. And another streaming company, Quibi, also launching uh, during the pandemic on April 6th. It's been a little over a week, and it sounds like things are already changing for them, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, when we actually talked to Jeffrey Katzenberg the week that um, it launched, and he was very adamant that uh, Quibi should be on your phone and not on the TV experience. But that is something I saw on Twitter. Everybody was asking if they could watch Quibi on the TV. And it seems like they're willing to make that shift. Now, Quibi is an interesting scenario. They have a 90-day free trial, but it is going to be, um, you do have to pay for the service eventually. So it will remain to be seen after that 90 days if people still want to stay on that subscription service. But as for now, it seems like they are acquiescing to some market demand um, with streaming up at an all-time high. They're going to let you watch on TV, even though it is a mobile-first service. Okay, uh, more content than ever. Cheddar's Michelle Castillo. Always good to see you, Michelle. Thank you. Thanks.